Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in January of this year, I posted a video that Microsoft is working on a redesign of the Edge browser, codenamed Phoenix, that is designed according to Microsoft to, do, to differentiate Edge from other browsers with a new user interface like that of Windows 11. And I'll leave a link to that video down below if you would be interested. Now, um, just a quick update regarding um, a project Phoenix and a quick recap. Um, some of the features have already started rolling out to Edge Canary as I have posted on previously. Um, we get the uh, rounded corners for the browser window as you can see and browser windows. We get the rounded tabs that seem to be hovering and have that hover effect like floating above the actual browser. The profile picture has been moved from the toolbar uh, to the right of the browser to the top left to the title bar and that's just a quick recap as to some of the uh, features that could be rolling out with uh, Project Phoenix. Now it seems that um, Project Phoenix is another step closer to becoming a reality because uh, in the overnight update to um, Edge Canary, my Edge Canary browsers um, in my region, I've noticed a new setting that's become available. So if we just head up to the main menu, I've noticed this new setting, experience the new Microsoft Edge, which basically is codenamed Phoenix, as mentioned previously. And this is toggled on by default. And you obviously can toggle the feature off. And when you toggle it off, it basically takes the Edge browser, the look and the feel, and the user interface back to the so-called original look and feel like it currently is over in the stable version. And um, what this this uh, this um, setting is doing is it's enabling and disabling a lot of the features that previously had to be enabled um, using experimental flags. So nonetheless, just to show you for today's video, um, if we toggle that off, we'll need to restart uh, the browser for the changes to take effect. So if we do that quickly, you'll see now um, when uh, Edge Canary reloads, things look pretty similar to how they are over in the stable channel of Microsoft Edge for desktop. Um, yeah, you can see that the uh, rounded windows have, have been removed so um, it's just got that more or less square look and feel. The tabs um, don't have rounded corners anymore and they are actually now don't have that they don't actually have that kind of hovering effect above the actual browser and the profile picture has been moved from the title bar once again and been popped back to where it was originally uh, in the top right where the toolbar is and if we just head over quickly to the appearance page, something else I did notice is when you toggle that setting off, uh, it disables these two settings, which previously had to be um, enabled using experimental flags, as mentioned. So that's use rounded corners for browser, show profile icon in the title bar. So basically it disables those two settings by default. And if you want to put everything back to the new look and feel, i.e. codenamed Project Phoenix, you just head back to the menu toggle that on, restart the browser for those changes to take effect. And you can see now that Edge Canary now has all the rounded corners once again to the browser windows, the tabs, the, the profile has been moved back to the title bar. And if we head back to the appearance page, uh, you'll see now that those same two settings have once again been re-enabled. So it seems that Project Phoenix, um, uh, that new look and feel as Microsoft is calling it now, experienced the new Microsoft Edge is one step closer to becoming a reality. And um, there's a good chance that this setting, I feel, may, may make its way to the stable version where this becomes a kind of preview setting that you can toggle on and off in the stable version eventually, which will change things to the new look and feel and then pop things back if you don't like the new look and feel. But obviously, um, I'll follow this with a close eye and post and let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.